What are three words that you would use to describe sexuality in Salt Lake City? Uh, surprisingly abundant. Yeah. And hot. <laughs> but I would say repressed at the same time, too. I think that the amount of, I mean, the religious culture is really, really strong. And so I think that for a lot of people, um, their sexuality is really repressed. Three words to describe sexuality in Salt Lake City. Closed, hence deprived, hence zealous. There is sex mm -hmm. probably every day in Utah, <laughs> and not just for procreation. City. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. That's really nice. And it's been great kind of exploring the city and talking to people. Um, I think that both of us are really kind of shifting our thinking about sexuality here in Salt Lake City mm -hmm. and um, what sexuality means in a community mm -hmm. like this. It's been fun to Lots. kind of explore it. Yeah. Yeah. Our first stop in Salt Lake City was to visit Planned Parenthood. We were greeted by Carrie Galloway, CEO and President of Planned Parenthood of Utah. She gave us a tour and told us all about the work her affiliate is doing all over the state on issues of education, advocacy, and reproductive health services. You know, I can just boast about um, what the staff of Planned Parenthood of Utah have been able to do. With a very small staff, we work hard. We often test the, the limit of laws that we can create with sex education, sexuality, family planning, certainly abortion. But we never give up. It makes it kind of a challenge. If you really want to challenge Planned Parenthood of Utah in the political and advocacy realm, we'll never let you be bored. Um, that was only a small job plug for anyone who wants to come to Utah. I really loved visiting Planned Parenthood of Utah. They're a smaller affiliate that is providing health services, education, advocacy for an entire state. They are doing really great work in a community that has numerous challenges. It takes more outreach and marketing than I think it does in other states to make people aware of their rights, um, what services are available to them, and not to feel guilty about how they live their lives. You know, a statewide organization is a challenge, but there are people all over Utah, so we won't give up trying. We interviewed Paco, an educator who works on the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Program, called TP3 for short. The program is funded by Planned Parenthood of Utah. So what drew you to talking about sexuality and mental health issues and keeping your body healthy? Well, it actually came to me at first. And I started off here with Planned Parenthood. That was my first time ever getting a chance to work with youth with, with uh, Planned Parenthood uh, here with the TP3 program. And so at first I really didn't have no idea about it and I really had no interest in it at all. But then as the deeper I started getting into it, the more I got interested in it. Because I realized that it wasn't just about, you know, talking to children about STDs and contraception, that it really expanded to the whole health of the, the child or the adolescent and so I really got drawn into the domestic violence issues and the, and the hyper masculine identity of men this machismo that we have because I personally was one of them I mean growing up I was you know always taught to be you know super tough guy and ain't scared of nothing never shows weakness and so on and so on and I started you know realizing that actually that's not who you are mm -hmm. I mean, I'm learning about things I wish I would have known when I was 15, and that's part of the reason I feel so good about talking to kids about this, because I see how relevant and important it is that they get this information. So. You don't have to spend much time in Utah to realize that the Mormon faith has a pretty big impact on sexuality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously not everyone in Utah is a part of the LDS Church, and not all Mormons have identical beliefs around sexuality issues. But it's pretty clear that the church has a significant influence on sexuality in the state. Well, here we are at the LDS Temple. It's, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's not as ornate as I imagined it to be, but it's pretty. It's kind of a 
trip. Like, you know, it's 2.20 on a Friday afternoon, and there's like five brides and grooms out here. They just got married, and then there's this beautiful thing that's happening over here about the symbolism of woman. Look. Wow. So, I don't need to say anything. Do you think? <laughs> kind of says it all. Even the non-Mormons we interviewed were very aware of the church's influence. From school curriculum to state laws to access to condoms and emergency contraception, religion has a direct impact on the sex lives of people in Utah. Another theme that came up for many of the people we spoke to was Salt Lake City's status as a relatively liberal city inside a much more conservative state. People describe the city as a progressive urban oasis surrounded by rural communities that hold traditional beliefs about sexuality. This is especially true when it comes to sexual orientation. We visited the Utah Pride Center, an organization that provides social activities, support groups, education, advocacy, and health events for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community in Utah. We met with Rachel, the center's youth program director, and she told us what life is like for many LGBT teens in Utah. A lot of the youth being threatened at school, uh -huh. a lot of times you've been with that they're going to be killed, mm -hmm. especially when you get out to some of the more rural high schools. Mm -hmm. So when queer youth are wanting to come out or needing someone to talk to, they, they can't do that at school. I see some of them come here and they're just really depressed and they don't have any support. And so when they come here, we offer that. And I, I see a huge change in them. Mm -hmm. We have youth who will take the bus. It takes them two hours to get here and two hours to get home, and they're still here every single day. Wow. There's not very many places here, where, especially with youth, where they can learn about safer sex, and where they can learn about sexuality, and this is definitely a place where we talk about that often. We've had a fantastic time here in Utah. It has been um, so interesting to talk to people. Mm -hmm. Kind of have a long day of driving ahead of us. We're going through Wyoming and maybe making it to South Dakota. We'll see how yeah. we're doing tonight. So. Yeah. See ya.